And a very good morning to you from the TT Grandstand. Thank you very much to the Reverend Canon John Caldwell for popping up. And, of course, th thank you very much also to Sergeant Andy Reid. Our guest this morning, Josh Brooks, is here. We'll speak to Josh in a minute. Later on, after 8.30, we've got Tim Reeves and also Mark Wilkes coming into the studio. But there are lots of ways to get in touch. We're now streaming live. We are. Which is we a are bit worrying, isn't live it? on Facebook. I, I know. know. It's getting towards the end of the week now. Well, it is the end of the week, so we're all a little bit gruff sounding yeah we're alright ok yeah. I'll be alright when I get going in a bit yeah. so what do we got have you want to so get you in can touch? get in touch with us yeah. you can text us 166177 or if you're using a, an off island phone 07624166177 just use a TT at the start of your message so we know that that's what you're contacting us about also you can email studio at radio TT .com. if you are watching us on Facebook of course you can post comments on Facebook as well we're a little bit shorter Twitter today. Mm. We've broken it, Chris. How did you break that? Why? Well, we've we've tweeted too much, apparently. Is Fantastic it really? tweets. They, d d they think that we're a robot because we're so, tweeting so, so many wonderful mis things. So Mr. Twitter, who owns it, has blocked us out, has he? Yeah, he's, okay. decide he's decided our tweets are so magnificent that we shouldn't be allowed to tweet anymore, apparently. <laughs> I know, so that's a bit disappointing. Delete the account, that'll do. Yeah, but don't forget, of course, the one thing that um, uh, is, is brilliant about this year, of course, if, if you're listening to Radio TC, you can listen on FM now, and it's really clear, it's fantastic. So if you're in Douglas, you can listen on 87.9. If you're in Ramsey, uh, in Sulby and the Northwest, you can listen on 100.6 FM, and there's no delay as well, which is great. I think Ramsey's 87.9 as well, the new transmitter oh. as well, yeah, you see. I see, I had that. As, oh, oh, I'm <sighs> reading my notes wrong. Douglas and Ramsey, 87.9. Yeah. <laughs> I need glasses yeah you're right <laughs> yeah so that's just uh, so 87.9 if you're in Doolish which is Douglas and uh, up in Ramsey as well 87.9 in the Solby area and that sort of side of the island 100.6 Josh Brooks good morning sir good morning are you right oh I'm okay I'm not much of a morning I know. person I was I up late last night I had um you know some uh some some evening uh meal and chats with sponsors of the team and um, yeah, just filling my duties and doing it the best I can. So uh, morning time isn't my favourite. Where you know did what? he go? He still got up early enough to make his moustache look wonderful. Of course wonderful he did. Though. He has one of those little things. You see them in films, and the 118 guys have them as well. Yeah. They put like a little uh, cover over the moustache to hold it into place. Is there a cover you he can get to hold it in place? Yeah, yeah. He's, oh, well. he's feigning surprise there. <laughs> <laughs> he's got about 10 different ones in different <laughs> colours, <laughs> haven't he? <laughs> but at least he's still got it, because yeah, uh, Davo wants to get rid of that tash for you. Have you heard about this? No. He's, uh. he's, he's sent out. Out that the girl that's taking selfies is it mm. Lila or oh, the, Lila? the young girl, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and he's he's given her instructions to shave off your tash. Davo Johnson. Oh right, yeah. okay. It's a bit harsh, okay. isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, oh. it's, it's, there's only one thing more manicured in this and that's probably been my hairstyle to be honest with you first thing in the morning doesn't take long to do it's a bit long if I can grab it it's a bit long so yeah. it's going it's, it's, getting, it's getting taken off today uh, Josh welcome back to the TT it's lovely to have you here again I know you missed a couple of years and now you, you're back and uh, obviously with the Norton deal which is great I mean it's such an iconic bike and the good thing is it's their bike now isn't it you know everything they do is all in house with the team of Stuart and the guys and I think when Stuart on Stuart is on oh can't even read read this. Uh, I thought we had Stu on. No, we haven't. I don't think we do. No, no. we don't actually. No, I thought we had <laughs> Stu on. We normally do. But what's it like down there? What's the atmosphere like in the factory now that they've got their own thing, their own product? Um, it's a uh, it's quite it's quite a pressured situation. You know, they want to um, obviously get the the production bike out to the to the customers, and um, you know, there's as you can imagine, um, it's a very small company compared to probably what people think you know you you say the name Norton and people think about the history in this huge company and it must have hundreds of employees or thousands of employees and it must be this big production line of people trying uh, ma manufacturing bikes but it's not it's a really really small small company it's every bikes hand built is there it's literally you walk into a, a factory and you know there's 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 bays and and and, and lads just picking parts from boxes and you know, assembling bikes and, um, you know, there's there's the world shop out the back, which is, you know, compared to, to other big industries, it's a small outfit. So what they actually achieve with such a small um, group of people is, is quite uh, outstanding on its own. But, um, yeah, I think the main focus now is just to, is to get the, the V4 in production. You know, the, mm. the racing side of things is, is almost a different department. Um, you know, what we do with racing is to try and, um, learn more about the bike and develop it for the future. Um, but the the production bike, you know, they they just want to get that to the customers as quick as possible. So, so is there a customer bike? Is it sorry? Is there a production bike down there? In, yeah, there's is that a the custom, silver one. Yeah. Is the lights in the front? That's yeah, lovely. That's the bike that's being produced for for the customers. Mm. And um, 
yeah, that that's where all the focus is at the moment. They're trying to get that 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 finished and um and actually to the customers. So that's where all the focus is at the at the factory. And um, the race team's got like a, a separate group, if you know. Mm-hmm. Like we just stay focused on what we can do and deliver that information back to the to the factory. It's a young team as well, isn't it? A lot of young brilliant minds working on this and you just said about the weld shop i've just got an image now in my head of an old welding cabinet you used to see years ago in factories and a chap there and the thing with a little norton badge on, 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 his, <laughs> yeah. on his on his on his on his uh, dungarees on his boiler suit whatever mm. you want to call it he's just sat there doing a bit of aloe welding uh, aluminium welding which is one of the hardest things to do aluminium welding it's not like that but i've just have i've just have that image in my mind of an old chap with a white norton suit on <laughs> yeah. and just have that yeah is well, it hand welded not, it's not too dissimilar well, um you know there's jigs in place and um you know there's there's uh, uh, aluminium being you know bent into the to the shapes for the parts that need to be welded together and yeah there's just lads in there with um you know norton uniforms on and you know setting pieces of metal up and and having their machines going and they're literally welding um parts as as you're describing so it's not so dissimilar to what you're so what i you're love saying. that all that proper hand built stuff none of these bzz, 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 robot things no there's no robots built. Definitely Brilliant. no robots. It's, it's like when we had done. the Britain here last year, didn't mm. we? And you, yeah, the yeah. story of the Britain and going mm. to see it and just thinking of what went into that machine. It's just mm. that that care. and But the beauty of it as well, and the beauty of the Norton, I mean, that is some beautiful machine, isn't it? Aesthetically as well. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, there's a, there's a as you said, there's a, there's a lot of young um, people uh, in Norton as a, as a company and a group. And um, yeah, I think they're, they're, they're trying to harness all the... Um, education that that is out there from the um, British engineering side and and trying to to harness that to improve the product and and and, and make the design as good as it can. I think most of the design work came from uh, from Skinner, so um, he's uh, he, you know he, he's not a young lad. He's 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 a part of the company like um, like Stuart is, you know. So a lot of the design work comes from his influence, but you know there's a there's a big crew of um, of uh, an office full of engineers and you know like um graduates that have mm. that have that have got engineering backgrounds and stuff for all that kind of thing and they've made obviously their own engine now which is a couple of years in production obviously they're using a really engine before and their own motor i mean that, when they finally got that sorted that must have been such a relief for the company as well to get that because that was the big thing wasn't it have their own chassis spawned chassis originally wasn't it but now they've got their own chassis and everything now it, it's it's their product which is great yeah, exactly. Like this, this all that the the whole uh, you know focus, like I've said, is is about getting the production bike going. You know, they need to have their own engine to build a production bike, and um, so that's where where all the focus has been. To you know, it's been years. You know, you need to Stuart's the guy to talk to about that. I all I know about is the racing. Yeah, you know, I yeah. I literally uh, know about the race bike and and nothing more. Let's speak about the race bike then. Obviously, you rode last year's <coughs> model. You've ridden ones before. This one. What do you make of it? Let's explain to the listeners out there. I mean, there's be listening from all over the world listening to this. You know, explain to them in your terms how you felt the first time you got on it. Okay, when you go around test tracks, Castle Coombe, Donington, or whatever, mm. yeah. But when you got it here, how did it feel? Um, it feels really good for here. In fact, um, you know, uh, the, the the method for how they 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 come with a design and the the chassis design and stuff was emphasize around the tt you know they want to they want to win tt they want to be norton wants to be back where it was in in as it was in its history you know so um they didn't go about making just a bike that looks pretty that the, the design was all about trying to make a bike that would go fast around the Man tt and as it's um a public road when it becomes a production bike it makes no um surprise it'll be a good production bike as well because it's you know it's been raced on a public road so um it's it's quite a good method for how they're going about uh you know coming up with the design and 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 this the, the way that the bike works and um for me it's 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 super stable and um you know what that's like one of the main focus points that every rider is looking for is a, is first of all above everything is a stable safe bike mm. and um it's got abundance of stability and it's super stable but we're actually going for for my personal touches we're actually trying to get rid of a little bit of stability in favor of some some fast steering you know um at road speeds you would never um encounter even near an issue but when we're we're getting up into the near the 130 mark and i was at you know nearly 131 in the race last year um you start to realize that oh if i could just get a bit of sharper steering here if i could just finish a corner a bit better there so the problem is you've got to go that fast to discover the issue to then make a f- find a solution, and there really isn't anywhere in the world you can go 
um, and, and test a bike that's going to be comparable to what we're doing here. Well, in a legal way anyway. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, the, the problem is that the only time we get to improve the bike is, is here at the event. Mm-hmm. So we kind of went away from last year with um, a lot of ideas about um, SG6, as it was called for last year, um, the bike. And uh, they said, well, let's start this year with it with a new bike, a fresh start. We'll, we'll put a couple of refinements in. But the, the, the idea wasn't to come with it with a brand new bike, all different, and try and then have to manage a, a brand new motorcycle. The idea was to um, make refinements to, to last year's bike um, from what we knew, uh, you know, with that. So this year's bike is is almost the same as, as last year's, just with small refinements. There won't be anything massively noticeable difference if you parked them side by side on ra- last year's race bike. And, and this year's one, you'd, you'd spend a lot of time looking back and forwards mm. to try and find a difference. You know, the, the bike isn't dramatically, you know, when you know when they other other brands come with a new model, sometimes, you know, not a single part will fit on the next one. You know, they're yeah. that, that different. This this year model bike isn't isn't like that. It's a, it's just small refinement stuff that probably you know the average person wouldn't even even pick up on. But the idea is just to try and give me a helping hand to to fix a few of the areas where I'm struggling to get the bike to steer a bit better and things like that. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, and and those details of what we've changed is you know moving the the swing arm pivot, um, changing the shock damping, um, moving the the head. Um, pipe uh, position you know just 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 tweaking with a couple of mil here a couple of mil there just refining the position of of where the bike is to try and enhance a bit of extra steering and a bit better bump absorption and stuff like that it's the same it's mostly the same as what all the teams would be uh, would be searching for from any other bike as well but of course they've got thousands and thousands of models already out on the road thousands and thousands of guys around the world racing kawasaki suzuki yamaha yeah. honda whatever and you're the only one doing this. Obviously, we're going to talk about your teammate, John, who should have been your teammate. I mean, oh, what's it like having him in your corner? I mean, the man is just he's just amazing, isn't he? It's its really good, but really frustrating. Mm. He's hes frustrated that he can't um, offer much more. You know, like, he's hes at the side of the track, and he watches the bike, and he's, he's even come back. He says, you know what, it, it looks quite good. He goes, there's not... He goes, it's not tying itself in knots. It's not, you know, head shaking. It's not spinning the back tyre aggressively. He goes, the bike looks, looks really good on track. Mm-hmm. He goes, I'm, I'm not actually able to, to offer any real strong um, advice that's going to that's gonna bring another mile an hour really straight away. So, um, and then also he's frustrated that he can't ride the bike. And then for me, I'm like, I wish someone else was on the bike with me. Um, not on my personal bike, but <laughs> riding the bike in our team. Um, so we could we could share comments, you know, and... Uh, I could come in and say, oh, during this section, um, the, the the bike's you know kicking around off the rear, but the front feels really planted, and he might be saying, oh, well, you must be on a wrong line because my bike's just perfect, you know, or you know, if there's a way to kind of um, spin information off each other, you determine which bits rider input and which bits um, just just the bike needs more more tuning, you know. So being a solo rider is great; you've got all the focus and all the resources, but. In this moment, I'd actually really love to have a teammate. You know, it's one of the first times in my career where a teammate's a, a really positive thing to have. Okay, all right. We need to take a very short break. If you want to get in touch with us, Christy, very quickly while we have the break, can you just uh, reiterate the, the ways to get in touch? Yeah, please? sure. The best one really is probably to text us, to be fair, 166 or 177. And if you just start your message TT, so we know that that's what you're getting in touch with us about. Also, you can email studio at radiott.com. And uh, if you head over to the Facebook, uh, we should be on Facebook Live as well, so you can comment on there. Okay, take a break. Back at the grandstand with Josh Brooks very shortly.